Good, um, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are. My name is Lisa Cato and I'm a DC in London North East. And I thought I'd put together a little video for you if you're new to building the Vice President's Report for your chapter, if you're new in the position or you want some hints and tips. I was Vice President of the Alliance Lunchtime Chapter in Southgate last year and um, I'm quite good at finding shortcuts and quick ways to do things, so I thought I'd share those with you. So these are the three things that you're going to need uh, if you're going to follow this is your BNI Connect login and uh, internet browser to log in with, the Vice President's Report template which should have been emailed to you and uh, Excel. So the first thing we need to do is log in to your BNI Connect. What you'll find is you've magically got a, a new section called Chapter and here you'll be able to go to the Summary Palms Report. This will offer you a date range. So in the Vice President's report, you'll want to report on different amounts of money depending on a, a range of time, such as the last month, the last week, the last year, and since the chapter began. So this is where you'll choose that. So if we're looking at uh, the last week, today is the 6th of April. So Alliance is going to have its first meeting of the new term uh, tomorrow. So they're going to want to report on the last week. Uh, if we select here, the last meeting was on Friday the 31st and we select today's date, April the 6th, that's going to give me the data for the last week for the report. There we go. By the way, you can click on any of these headings to sort these into order. So what I like to do now is go to a spreadsheet. This is the one that I had uh, when I was MC all of last year, where I've got here the average monthly referrals last week, last month, last year, and the total since the chapter began, and then all the business. So this, as the vice president tracking the growth of the chapter, means that I had all the stats for the whole year, and meant that from that data, I could then do pretty little graphs, which keep me, helps me keep an eye on it and see if there's any anomalies and what's gone on. So that was quite a nice touch. So if you create a new spreadsheet with these items in there, the average monthly referrals, the referrals for the last week, last month, last year, and then across the top, we've just got the dates for the different weeks. So I'm going to start a new one for this term. If you want me to email this out to you, you just, um, just whiz me over an email. If you want any of the information or, or you want a hand or a phone call just to talk you through it, then just Whiz me over an email and we'll set a time. So back here, we've now got the spreadsheet ready to go. And then I've got here the window from the web browser. There we go. So if I scroll to the bottom, I can see the total number of referrals given and the total number of referrals received. So these two, these two should equal these two. So in the last week, I can put in here the I can do a little formula, I do an equal sign and put in 38 and then a plus sign and 70 and that's going to calculate that automatically for me. What you can do here is you can export. I like to export without headers, it gives me a bit of a, a cleaner view and that will open in an Excel spreadsheet once it's downloaded. I'm going to enable editing. So here I can now highlight the columns just by clicking and dragging and go to custom sort, tell it that I've got headers so that it doesn't account for the, the title row and then I can sort by the TYFTB, largest to smallest and then I can see who's been thanked for the most business. Obviously it's going to put the total up at the top. So these are the members that, you're, that I will want to acknowledge from the top table. I like to acknowledge everybody that has thanked business but you may want to have some superheroes for the people that have been thanked for over a thousand 3,000, over 5,000, 6 and 9 and so on. So you can choose what you want to do with that. That will be your statistics. I'm going to set this to the print area, but I'm going to hide these columns so that when I print, it's just going to print these. Right, that's that bit done. So Going back to, we'll close that, we don't need it. So going back to here, I also need to add in the thank you for the business. So the thank you for the business for the last week is 190,000. There we are, I don't know where that's come from, let's get rid of it. There we are. 
So that's the last week. I'm going to close this and then I'm going to put in for the last month. It will be the whole of March because uh, that was the last month's worth of activity. The thing you uh, want to remember to do is uh, the visitors for the last month. So I can see here that in the last month Alliance has had 14 visitors and the thank you for the business was 663,000. The number of referrals given and referrals received, I'm going to add together again a little formula, the equal sign 169 plus 272. There we are. Um, and the number of visitors I've got in there too. So we've done the last week and the last month. Now we're going to do the last year, which will be from um, well, the 1st of April. So that'd be March the 31st in 2016. So here we can see we've got uh, 2,550,000 in the last year in money and in referrals we've got equals 1580 plus 2709 and the monthly average referrals we can now calculate because we can do an equals the annual referrals divided by 12 and that will give us our number which we can then round down oh, wrong way there we are so there's no decimal points that is that. If you want to do the formatting as well, you can click on any of these numbers. You get this little paintbrush, and then that will change all of those so they look the same. These ones here we can make look like money. Boom. So, uh, last one to do is since the chapter began in March 2010. So, here we go. taking a minute to load there we are so the amount of business this chapter has done since it began is 12097920.62 and the number of referrals is equals 15014 plus 11383 there we go so that's the stats now ready to go onto the report so let's pull up the template so I tend to digitally keep um, my report. I normally keep it on a drop box for those occasions when I've left the house without taking it with me so that I can access it from the venue as well. There's my, uh, my free tip. So here I can now just fill it in. So our average um, referrals has increased to 357. Uh, last month we passed 441. In the last year, we've passed a total of 4,289, and since the chapter began in March 2010, we have passed 26,397. In the thank you for the business box last week, we passed 190,596. Do put your commas in, because when you're reading it out, they do help at a glance. Uh, in the last month, 663,892. Put that comma, not a full stop. Uh, in the last year, we have 2,552,018 pounds. And since the chapter began, we've got 12,097,097 12 12 What might help as well for you, just how you read it when you're up there and you're kind of on the spot, you, you might want to, oops, you might want to make them uh, different colours just so that they stand out so that you can look up and make eye contact with people rather than just be uh, staring at the page. Uh, have a little practice run sometimes as well, I find helps. So at this point you would say, can the following members please stand? So this is the point at which you either have the separate sheet that we, uh, that we printed before, this one here where you can um, copy and paste in the, the top people that, uh, that you want to highlight in the meeting. Or uh, I, I keep a separate sheet because I do read out everybody and I like to acknowledge everybody that was thanked for the business. These members were thanked for over a thousand. This member was thanked for over three thousand. 
these members were thanked for over 5,000, over 6,000, and, uh, and then I, get the, I do the applause for the top three people. In addition to the uh, number of referrals, last month we had 14 visitors. Uh, we like to keep that at about 24 because, as we all know, visitors are the lifeblood of the chapter. This, I get the chapter to chant. It becomes a, a bit of a thing. They all quite like it. Um, you should have been sent a document that has the uh, policies on there. The policies are quite good. If you, if you haven't, uh, all you actually need to do is Google BNI policies uh, and it will come up. It's quite good if you've got something you want to highlight in your chapter or there's something, there's a problem or there's been slight issues or rumblings or mumblings, this is quite good uh, to remind people of something that's important. So I think as uh, Alliance uh, inducted two new members last week, I think I'm going to use policy number 17. I'm just going to copy and paste it in. There we go. Then you've got your categories. Uh, we do it that uh, each of the power teams has chosen a category and that's how we read it out. You might want to highlight, you might want to change that if you've got a couple of builders in the room and you're looking for a builder, you might want to just swap that out to highlight that the chapter is looking for a builder. It makes that person feel uh, like they're welcome. Um, and that is the report. That's all you have to do. Um, oh, there's, there is, of course, uh, committee announcements that you'll want to fill in here if there's categories that have been opened or any other highlights that the membership committee wants to let the chapter know about. That's where you put it in, print it, and off you go. Good luck, guys, and you just let me know if you need a hand any way along the way. You can find me on BNI Connect, or you can come along and find me on my email, lisa at thebackoffice.eu. Enjoy your meeting and make that script your own. Be the personality. Show them how it's done, guys. Let me know if you need your help, any help.